Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be checking out the brand new LEGO Ninjago movie set 70609. This is the Manta Ray Bomber. It has 341 pieces, and a big thank you to the folks over at Warner Brothers Consumer Products and the LEGO Ninjago movie for making this review possible. There is a choking hazard. Some to The toy does contain some small parts and a small ball, not for children under three years of age. A really fun looking set. It contains four minifigures, and of course you've got your Manta Ray Bomber as the vehicle. The back of the package shows you what they do look like, and some indication should be made that they do not float. I think when I was younger I used to try to float my Lego, and I used to build like little vehicles and stuff, but they never float. They fill with water and they sink to the bottom. But uh, really, again, fun looking set. It looks like it has a lot of playability going for it, which is one thing I quite like. You can head over also to www.lego.com forward slash Ninjago movie. And the movie itself, I think it's coming out near the end of this month, about the 22nd or so. So stay tuned for that as well. There in a nutshell is your box. And here is the finished build. To come included and the much needed uh, accessory, if you want to count it as accessories, it does come with two instruction guides, two build guides as to how to build the set. You have booklet one and you have booklet two. The build time roughly for this uh, this particular build, I think it was only about 45 minutes, so it didn't take too long. Now granted, I was generally when I build these sets, I'm also doing other things as well. I'm watching TV and whatnot. So I'm sure the more dedicated builder who's not being distracted by other things could probably build this a little bit faster. It took me about 45 minutes or so. Let's first have a look at the minifigures. Then we'll look at the Manta vehicle for, for starters. We have the Shark Army Gunner. Now this one's kind of neat because he's got this kind of fish samurai sai. Looks really, really cool. Um, doesn't have any sort of back head print, but I think the face sculpt is quite good. In fact, if I was to make a minifigure of myself, I think that's fairly accurate. Maybe a little bit more stubble on the face. Comes with a little beanie hat, and then the printing on the torso and legs, quite good. Also, some printing also on the back. I think also while we're sticking to the theme, here we have Great White which also has kind of a very similar fish weapon, except this is like a little fish drill. Very cool. Uh, well, just actually for this one, I'll take the weapon out of his hand. And again, a great looking head sculpt, if you want to call it a head sculpt, because he's got like a little shark helmet on there. You can take this off like so, and you can see very outrageous eyebrows on great white. Has no back print or printing on the back of its head. A little oxygen tank there. The printing on the front is actually very similar to that of the Shark Army Gunner. Very, very cool looking head though. I love this shark helmet. Love it. Then we have Cole. And Cole comes with this really large, looks like a hammer. I'll just take that out of his hand. And we'll take this off. He does have a variant variation of his head, different printing on the back there, more of a smiley kind of slightly cocky facial expression. Let me just show it. I'll spin this around so you can see what the other one looks like. You got kind of a more stern face and then you got a little bit more of a of an arrogant face or a little smile, a little smirk at the top there. Just turn that around and trying our best not to drop it because I seem to have butterfingers lately. Putting the top there on. Nice back printing, as equally so on the front. Some nice front printing there as well. I love the love the coloring on this one. So there's Cole. And the last minifigure to come included with this, we get ourselves Shen Li. I think that's how you pronounce it, Shen Li. What's neat about this is I've never seen this before. He carries like one of those poles, one of those uh, kind of like sticks that have the the water buckets on either side. Now it pegs to the back here, so you can just unpeg that from the little peg that's on the back of his back. Uh, I'm so, I suppose you could also have him holding it. If you turn the the hands around, you could have him you could have him holding it as well. 
But I've, I've never seen this setup before. I think that's really cool. For his printing, there's his face. We'll take, take the hat off. There's his face. Nothing on the back. Of course, generally, the minifigures, if they've got the, the back visible, like the back of the head visible, they generally don't put printing or a different like expression on the other side. Just because you, you're going to see it when you turn the figure around. There's Shenley. Super cool figures. And again, you get four figures in total. We'll just move all their accessories out of the way. And now we'll bring in... Now, this is super cool. I, I, I might say it's one of my favorite of the Ninjago sets so far. And still, we got a couple more that we're going to build as well on this channel. But I think the Manta Ray Bomber it looks very, very cool. I've always really kind of liked Manta Rays to start off with. So if you can make a vehicle out of it, all the better. There's the back of it there with some giant propellers propelling it. Of course, it doesn't float in water, which is sad because, you know, I'd love to put this into the bathtub, but it would sink. What's neat about it, though, is, uh, well, for starters, let's do let's look at some of the details. Got some sticker application here. I applied some stickers, say number 26, number 26 there. And uh, I think that was the only uh, I think that was the only sticker. Oh, and then there's one other sticker. I'm trying to remember what it is. Oh, I think it's the stickers on the sides applied those or maybe they didn't. Oh, those didn't actually require stickers. What's neat, though, is that you can take so like the characters. So let's say, for example, we take coal here. It's not really I wouldn't use coal for this one, but say if you want to put him in the front. You could have him piloting the Manta Ray Bomber. But then what you could also do too is you can unpeg. You can unpeg the little raft. And really all it pegs in by is like two little pegs right there. One, technically four. One, two, three, and four. And then that just kind of pegs onto the front. It's easy to line it up because you're lining it up to this little front bar. And, uh, you know, you can either have it as a little raft or you can have it as, as the entire vehicle. So we just like unpeg that for for example, and we'll just put the, the Manta Bomber there. And again, really a, a fun little vehicle. Looks like it's got almost like a little harpoon gun at the back there, with a little scope, which is neat. And this uh, this can move, so you can move it back and forth. You can also hinge it up and down. And there's really technically space that if you want to take another character, I feel bad. I shouldn't be putting coal here. Let's take some of the, take some of these guys here. Just take that out of his hand. There we go. Put him in the front. He'll be the pilot. There we go. And let's take Great White. We'll put him at the back, providing he'll fit. Because I got these little, these little claw things are kind of in the way. There we go. And you can have the two piloting that way. Uh, they also come with these little torpedoes. And they deploy. They kind of remind me of little bumblebees. Fat, chubby little bu bumblebees. And those can really attach at the back or at the front, depending on depending on exactly how you want it. I, I, I even... If the set was just really two figures in this raft, I would be pretty happy. But again, you get like all this extra, uh, extra Lego goodness here as well. Uh, I love the coloring also on the Manta Ray Bomber. It's got some nice, it's almost like a blue-gray, like a light, light blue-gray. And uh, again, you've got the, the big giant propellers on the bottom. I don't know if these actually serve also as, as giant torpedoes. Um, I thought this might actually have hinged up and down, but its only posability is really on the side fins. One thing that's also neat about it is let me just show you the front of it. The front kind of does look like a manta ray also, but it's got these little missiles here, these little small missiles, which are barely noticeable actually, until you fire these. And there's these little paddles that when you, when you press them, and they're on a hair trigger, I might add, when you press them forward, the little missiles fire out. So if, I, if I'm just gonna press it like this, it fires off and it goes way across the room. Luckily, Lego also includes an extra one as well. And those just slide back into place. Be careful though. Like I said, it's a, it is a hair trigger. You can even hear the spring as you're putting the missiles back into place. There we go. 
got a couple little oars on the front, which I guess you could technically r remove if you want to have the uh, the oars for the boat. I don't know if that's what they're intended for, but you can take those off if you want to as well. Uh, it's definitely got a really good size to it. Like, it's hard to probably gauge it by the size of my hand, but I mean, it it's a good sized vehicle for minifigures. And then when you're just finished, you can go ahead and take the raft once again, attach it to the top. You couldn't, you can't really access the the missile firing that that easy. You could still press it down, but it's just not as easy to get in there when you've got the raft on the top. Uh, I quite like this set though a lot. I uh, haven't really built many of the other sets yet. I hope to, but I might say this is my favorite set so far. I, it's got some great coloring. I love the shape of it too. Like it, it looks like a manta ray. If a manta ray was like mechanical and uh, you know was flying and floating in water and firing missiles and stuff like that. The minifigures are also cool. And uh, some of the funniest, the smallest of things is what really impresses me. I like this little bucket. This little pale carrying uh, stick I think is quite cool. I've never seen, never seen this been used before. It's probably, it probably has been used before. I just have never seen it though. Oh, overall, a great looking set. These these are now available in stores. Uh, I'm seeing them in Toys R Us and Walmarts and stuff like that. So basically anywhere you buy Lego, you should be able to find the, find the new Lego Ninjago sets, which of course is promoting the upcoming release of the Ninjago movie, which is coming out at the end of this month. Again, a big thank you to the folks over at Warner Brothers Consumer Products and the folks over at Lego, of course, for making this review possible. Today we were having a look at the Lego Ninjago movie set 70609, this was the Manta Ray Bomber. If you guys like this video and certainly want to see more videos like this, haven't had a chance yet to subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that little subscribe button down below. You won't miss a beat when it comes to future videos. And if you want to check out some more Lego Ninjago reviews, I'm going to have a playlist on this channel designated solely to Lego Ninjago. So you can go over and check out those videos when either the older videos you can check out or the newer videos that go online will all go over to that playlist. So periodically, if you want to just swing over there, Check out those videos and watch them at your viewing pleasure. And as always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.